Hi, this is Legacy Handyman. Uh, today uh, we are changing the flange for the toilet. We just removed this toilet and found that it's rusted and uh, broken old flange. We're gonna remove it and install the brand new PVC flange. In order to remove this flange, uh, we found that you just make a couple of cuts and then use the chisel to chisel it out. Don't go too deep, but you need to cut through one level of PVC. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, figure out which way the new one gonna be sitting. So this is our uh, horizontal line, straight line, pretty much adjusted this way. And set it aside. I'm gonna put use PVC glue. That's a primer. I'll clean this. It's a cleaner. Let's put it this way. And clean both sides of the pipe. Then we're going to use the cement, which is glue for PVC. Again, keeping in mind the horizontal line, put it in. Okay, now we're gonna wait a little bit. Okay, now you can see it's a uh, chips in the cement and a void around the around the flange, uh, what we've been using this uh, epoxy concrete repair, which uh, dries in 20 minutes. Okay, uh, you can do the epoxy or concrete, whatever you're doing, all over the place. Do not fill in these holes for the for the bolts, because the, these holes will be uh, used every time you strip the bolt. You're gonna put the new bolt through that hole, so that's what. And uh, that's another thing. This uh, epoxy is uh, pretty much used uh, acting as adhesive as well. That's why we're not going to screw it into the concrete slab. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to insert these bolts. And we're going to put these plastic pieces. They're going to help you to hold these bolts in the position that they're supposed to be. Put the back string. We're using flanged back string right in the middle of that flange. Next thing would be put the toilet. Try to do it vertical.
Next thing we're gonna do, put this trim piece in the washer on it, on both sides. Next we're gonna put the nuts on it. Using the adjustable wrench we're gonna put a couple of, couple of turns. Don't over tighten it. These bolts are not there to hold this down. The weight of the toilet holds it down. Do the same on the other side. Remember it's a PVC flange down there. If you over torque it, it's gonna break the flange out there. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, connect the water supply line and tight and turn on the water. Uh, we're going to flush a couple of times and see if the water is soaking out from uh, under the base of the toilet. No water, we're pretty much good to go. Sometimes uh, people like to put the cork around it. I prefer to leave it as it is. So you can see if, if anything, if the water coming out, you'll see it right away. With the caulk, it's gonna stay there and uh, pretty much you're not gonna be able to find out about it right away. That was Legacy Handyman. Please subscribe to our channel and like our videos. Thank you.